Hello, this is Ralph Plum, president of Global Med Partners. I'm really excited today to tell you about one of our signature products, the Mobile Diagnostic Laboratory, also called simply the Portable Lab. The origin of this unique mix of medical devices came out of our experience in global primary health care and the realization that rapid diagnosis was vital to timely and effective patient care and treatment. Designed with three power sources, weighing just 60 pounds, and with all the components safely placed in customized die-cut foam in a hard shell suitcase, the Mobile Diagnostic Laboratory is ideal for remote or mobile primary health care, and equally useful to health practitioners working in urban settings or rural areas. We're confident you'll want to know more. So after our skilled technician demonstrates each component and other benefits, please get in touch with us at globalmedpartners.com. That's globalmedpartners.com. Enjoy the video. Portable laboratory, versatile, durable, compact, solar-powered. The portable laboratory contains humaticrit centrifuge, hand crank centrifuge, five button tally counter, microscope, battery pack, solar power system. The portable laboratory is most effective if used by those who have a degree and certified in laboratory science, or has significant laboratory experience with knowledge of the equipment, basic understanding of biology, statistics, and specimen handling. Hermaticrit centrifuge. The hermaticrit is a measurement of the ratio of the volume of red blood cells to the volume of whole blood in a sample of capillary or venous blood following centrifugation. The hermaticrit is used to detect anemia, polycythemia, hemodilution, or hemoconcentration. Before operating, be sure to read the manual in full. Determine whether the desired rotor is installed and ensure that it is secured tightly to the motor shaft. The included Allen wrench can be used on the underside of the rotor and inserted into the set screw. Turn counterclockwise and loosen and change the rotor, and clockwise to tighten the rotor that slides over the motor shaft. The rotor must be tightly fastened, but do not over tighten. Close and latch the lid by pressing the front center until it clicks. Plug the AC power cord into the appropriate grounded AC outlet. Do not insert tubes at this time. Turn the power switch on and set the speed dial to the lowest setting and the timer to 10 minutes. The unit should spin with a smooth sound with little or no vibration. Increase the speed to detect whether there are loud or unusual sounds or excessive vibrations. If so, do not operate and contact your dealer. Spin only balanced loads where the tubes are placed opposite each other. Out of balance loads may damage the centrifuge and may produce improper sample separation. Load your tubes and use the digital controls to set time and speed. Hand Crank Centrifuge The hand crank centrifuge spins liquids up to 15 milliliters, such as urine and blood, and is operated by hand. The important factor when separating substances by centrifugation is the amount of force needed for separation without damaging the substances. Refer to the instruction manual for the amount of force and formula for calculation. To obtain a proper relative centrifugal force, the centrifuge must be cranked at 105 turns per minute to achieve a tube revolution per minute of 1,692. To operate, secure the centrifuge to a solid support such as a table with a clamp, slide the centrifuge head over the shaft until it clicks into place, and place the black tube holders of like shape opposite each other. Be sure that each tube contains equal volumes and is balanced opposite each other in groups of two or four to prevent unwanted vibration. Crank at the specified speed and time to achieve 105 turns per minute for five minutes. Manual five button tally counter. The counter is used to differentiate blood cells and record leukocyte quantities as they are identified within hematology. Blood samples examined under a microscope accumulates a subtotal for each type of cell encountered basophils, eosinophils, monocytes, lymphocytes, band neutrophils, and segmented neutrophils. The band and segmented neutrophils 
are counted together under the shared button of poly. Keep a mental note of how many bands make up the total. To operate, you must first zero out any numbers visible on the counter by cranking the large knob on either side of the counter and turn toward you until all digits read zero. Examine the sample and push the button for each type of leukocyte observed. The total cell count accumulates at the right. Microscope. The binocular microscope is semi-assembled and includes two ocular lenses and four objective lenses. It is important not to touch the glass or optics when handling. Assemble the lenses by placing the two ocular lenses into the binocular head. Screw the four objective lenses into the ocular nose starting with the smallest lens and rotating the nose until all have been secured into place. To operate, plug the AC power cord into the appropriate grounded AC outlet and into the back of the microscope. Rack the condenser down, place a slide onto the stage and raise using the large knob until just below the lens. Adjust focus with the fine adjustment, which is the smaller knob. Once the slide is in focus, you may use the other lenses with higher or lesser power and adjust accordingly. Battery pack and solar power panels. The portable laboratory is designed to be independent of outside power sources and yet compatible with commercial AC power when available. A rechargeable battery is used to provide portable power for the instruments in the portable laboratory. The battery can be charged with an available AC outlet or with the included solar panel. To operate, plug the male 12-volt charge adapter plug of the connecting cords into the sockets of the three-socket head and then into the input receptacle of the microscope, centrifuge, or colorimeter. Plug the input lead of the three-socket head into the battery and turn the system on. Turn the system off by pulling the plug out of the battery output receptacle. Wasn't that a great video? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, but more importantly, I hope you realize that the Mobile Diagnostic Laboratory is a vital tool in promoting uh, primary health care around the world, equally useful both in urban and rural settings. For more information, contact us at globalmedpartners.com. That's globalmedpartners.com. Thanks so much.